Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the first episode in the Stories with Rusty podcast series. I did this episode with my really close friend Ria, who is incredibly smart, incredibly talented. She's beautiful from the inside and out. And uh, we happen to talk about a lot of things. The interesting thing about Ria is that uh, she's an incredible person. That's one. And the second one is that she happened to grow up in Dubai. And that was instantly the point that I was fascinated with, which is the reason that I planned to uh, shoot the first episode with her. You will hear me and her talking about how she grew up in Dubai, how the culture is different, how her experiences have been spending her life abroad from India. I mean, she literally moved from India when she was one month old. And then she moved to London, how the life experiences have been from moving to Dubai, going back to India for vacations, coming to London for her college, we talked about relationships, we talked about drinking, we talked about partying, we talked about spirituality, we talked about listening to your parents, we talked about rebelling from your parents, we talked about a lot of incredible stuff which you will find was very relatable. I have given away a few of my life stories which nobody knows uh, and uh, I mean other than a few friends that were there when these were happening but I think you can really learn a lot from the life experiences of this 18 year old girl who has grown up in Dubai, who has moved to London, who is experiencing independence for the first time. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of uh, Stories with Rusty. Let's just begin. Hi, whoever is uh, watching this first episode in kind of a new series that I'm trying out with my dear friend Ria here. Hello, I'm honored to be here. This is a very awkward hug. It's not mic. 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 I have warned her to not touch the mic. Yes, I would. <laughs> so, the purpose of this uh, podcast series, yes. if you don't know already because I've not explained it to you properly, is I want to sit and chat with people I know okay. and I think who have interesting stories to tell. Okay. And you are my first trial subject. I'm, it's really <laughs> funny that you think I have very interesting <laughs> stories to tell. I don't. You will soon realize I have no good stories at all. See, I'll tell you why. Achha, for whosoever is watching you, they don't know who you are. They don't know who I am. Yeah. The, the, the audience is watching you, they don't know who they don't know who you are. Right. Tell me a bit about yourself. Okay. What? So. Hmm. Um, in your King's Key interview letter. Mein, uh, oh, that was a long time ago. I forgot everything. But okay. I'm Ria. Um, I'm 18. And um, I think the main thing about my life is I'm Indian. And I've lived in... Bahrain, Oman and Dubai my entire life and I shifted to London in September which was a huge deal um, and yeah there's nothing great about me I like science mm -hmm. so <laughs> I think that kind of proves my entire life so just whatever you said I picked yeah. up three very important things yes one is that you had to you spoke yes. and you pointed out very prominently that you're 18 right how, yes. why and how is that important Okay. Why, why do you think it's important? Uh, to me, like this age is kind of life changing because a lot of like very exciting things happened this year for me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like I graduated from high school and Delhi then like private Delhi private school, Dubai gardens. Hi, everyone. Shout out to them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like that happened. Then obviously, you know, the entire idea of going to another place to study university that came along and now I'm here and I'm studying and I've made a lot of like friends all that's happened at 18 mm -hmm. and more than anything I think like 18 is a very liberating age for me because there was independence there was you know you got my, to move to a new city entirely by yourself yeah, just all that just is so overwhelming but also so cool to me that's why 18 for me is like a very important age okay yes. so I'll tell you hmm. Why I decided to start with you. Okay. Is because uh, I've not told this to you before. No, you haven't. I'm intrigued. You're intrigued? Very. But the only reason I picked you is because I found this aspect of your life very interesting. I know a lot of people who have uh, been to Dubai, who have lived in Dubai, who are working mm. in Dubai. Mm. I've never known anyone who has grown up in Dubai. Okay. And my perception of Dubai and the Middle East entirely yeah. is that it's quite restrictive. Right. For a lot of different reasons. Okay. I know that you can go to Dubai and go but there's no reason, there's no way that you will get a citizenship there. Yeah. You know? yeah. And for a Indian, hmm. for a girl, yeah. to grow up in that uh, environment, environment yeah. it's yeah. very fascinating for me and I'm sure it's very fascinating for a lot of people who will be watching this. 
So okay. tell me a little bit about that because from what I understand, yeah, you have no experience of uh, having an Indian childhood. No, not. Acha, where are I you mean, from originally? Where are I'm your parents from? from? So how how did you move to Dubai when you were born? That is the story that I want to know. Okay, so um, I'm originally from Kota in Rajasthan. Mm-hmm. My dad's from there. My mom's from Bareilly. Uh, actually, oh, technically from Aligarh. My mom's from Bareilly. Really? Okay. No, my mom's nani is from Bareilly. So kind of oh, kuch hai wahan ka. Very nice. My my nana was from uh, Lahore. Wow, that's so cool. Maybe we should do this podcast with you <laughs> instead. Um, but yeah, um, that's where I'm like um, originating from. And then I shifted to Bahrain first, um, which is a lot of people don't know where Bahrain is. They're like, oh, close to Dubai. They get to know it from <laughs> that. They're like, yeah, that area. So uh, seven years of my life, I was in Bahrain. Mm-hmm. And that I remembered like that was my childhood. Bahrain is like, very special to me as well. Mm-hmm. made my best friends there my first like all my firsts were in bahrain um then i shifted to oman oman was very brief 6 months <laughs> it wasn't long at all um and then i've been in dubai since so about like 9 10 years in dubai um as you said about restriction i personally have never felt restricted to, like about anything um maybe because like i wasn't you know exposed to situations like that mm. um and obviously you know there are things like you are indian mm. and all that kind of helps you not be restricted in that sense it is it is definitely it is because if you're like an arab there then you have those like restrictions as like even as your religion and all that kind of stuff but like there are things when you go to a mall mm. they're like pdas and allowed that is something that they're very strict about you can't wear short short clothes um like you can't enter the mall in like the shorter shorts you ha- have and things like that um but then again because it's dubai and it's so like um i don't know like globalized in a way like expo 2020 is happening in dubai soon and stuff so you see like people on the beach all the time in bikinis and stuff and there's no restriction on that so i've personally never felt um restricted in that sense there are things that i've like realized now that weren't allowed in dubai that i've you know been exposed to now and like oh these are like things i can do for example give um, me a couple of examples um okay well i don't know but like you know being out till very late and stuff that wasn't because of my parents i feel like that was just the culture there mm-hmm. that like yeah. you don't stay out very long and like random things like that i mean i can't, I can't pinpoint anything <laughs> right now and that's just, different here yahan pe to yeah yahan pe to you can do whatever i won't say it till what time i stay out <laughs> if my mom watches this but i would take care of myself <laughs> no that is something that i have uh, experienced as well yeah although i lived in delhi for like 5 6 years my mother is originally my mother is from delhi hmm. to okay. delhi or uh, london with is a huge difference in terms of a lot of things yeah ek to yahan pe एक्चुअली नाइट लाइफ थोड़ी अच्छी है यू हैव स्टफ टू डू दिल्ली में सब सारा ग्यारह बारह बजे के बाद बंद हो जाता है द ओनली थिंग दैट स्टेज ओपन इन डेली आफ्टर ट्वेल्व इज दैट कई कई मिड नाइट शोज होते हैं मूवीज के दैट इज द बेस्ट थिंग मेरा ना जहाँ में रहता था वहाँ पे वॉकिंग डिस्टेंस पे दूस टू बी दिस रियली ग्रेट सिनेमा एंड द ओनली टाइम यूज टू वॉच मूवीज वॉज मिड नाइट शोज बिकॉज लोग नहीं आते थे उसमें I uh, moving on or actually building upon what you have said. Yeah. Why did you move to London? Okay. So oh, I Wait, what are you doing in Kings? That is a okay. more important so topic I'm that I think. So studying uh, biomedical sciences. I'm in my first year. For um, those of us who are not smart enough, you know, what does biomedical Okay. Mean? What is it exactly? Is it like MBBS uh, comparable to MBBS? No, MBBS? not at all. Um I feel like Wait, bio- MBBS se pehle kya hota hai? MBBS hi hota hai. MBBS pehle. Ha, pehle to. um so biomed is more like the research and like pharmaceutical kind of like that kind of area so i want to do something in research like scientific research which is why i've chosen this it's there are certain modules that we have are like exactly like uh, medicine students yeah. but we like differ in a lot of areas that way yeah. so yeah that and like lots of people just to like get the idea of biomedicine uh they do biomedical sciences first and then go into medicine mm. so that you know they're aware of like every single thing that's possible in medicine I feel like that's a very good route to take it's longer but it's very nice and you know there's also reassurance that you're good in it okay so, so building upon that yes. why why did you move to london i why mean i know ki let me give you some context yeah 
why I think uh, London, moving to London is a big deal. Yeah. Because uh, all the people that I've met who mm. wanted to go abroad mm. have gone to either Canada or Australia or New Zealand right. because they could not get into a good uni in London. Okay. So yeah. London, in the community, in fact, in India, Indians have a fascination in UK, say London, yeah. Se zyada. Yeah. so that is why I ask. Is that, is it because of the fascination or why is it that you moved to London? I don't think it's the fascination. Um, so I applied to two major things. So one was the US and one was UK. Um, so I was 100% sure that I was going to US. Um, like even till this year, like June, I was sure I was going to California. Yeah, University of Irvine, California. I was like 200% sure I'm going there. Um, last minute, like change of heart. Change I, of heart? Ch- mm, I've always wanted to be in the UK. Like day one, when we were like deciding universities, I told my dad I wanted to go to the UK. Mm. Um, but then he was the one who persuaded me like, oh, apply to US, you know. There are more like job prospects and things like that. That's that is true. Um, and you know, in some way or the other he convinced me Mm. and I got so convinced by all those like ideas and because I'd researched so much after that Mm. that I was so sure I was going to US like so sure then in June um, when I got my offer letters from all the universities in the UK Mm. um, I was like slightly confused about what I have to do because I had like two universities that I really liked which were good for my course Mm. Um, and there was just like standstill Mm. and for a whole month I didn't know what to do but then I remembered this. So I've been to the UK once before, at least to London once before. And I thought about it. I was like, what are the aspects about London that you like? Um, and I came up with this, that I've always lived in a city. Mm-hmm. London wouldn't be as different. Mm-hmm. I knew about the fact that like London is a lot more independent. You do a lot of things on your own. It's not like any other Asian countries. Even when I was planning to go to the US, there were a lot of things like dorm rooms and like catered food. Everything was done for you as an undergrad there. Here it's all on your own. And I kind of wanted to like throw myself into that hole once. I wanted to see how I'd do in it. And like, I just like went with it. That's where I was like, I really want to just fall into this and do it. You said you wanted to be independent. Yes. Why is that? I mean, I know why is that, but I want to hear it from... Okay, so I think independence is something that's very fascinating to me. Um, You know, like being brought up in an Indian family. That sense of independence is just lost Mm. in a lot of ways. As much as, you know, I love that like wholesome family vibe, um, you don't get to do things on your own. And also Asian countries, you don't do things on your own. Things are done for you all the time. Um, So I've always wanted to like understand that and like as a person who loves watching YouTube a lot, Mm -hmm. um, I've, you know, seen the lives of so many other people who live like in the UK, the US, who just do things on their own, figure things out. Like I've watched videos where people like change their room, like do a full makeover, everything's on their own. And I'm always really fascinated. Like if I was to do that for myself, I'd be like, oh, mama, can you come help me with this? Can you like do this for me? Do that for me? And like that, those little things just like changed my head. I was like, no, I don't want this. I want to like learn to be a lot more independent in that sense. Um, Do things on my own. Like right now I'm doing my groceries on my own, cooking for myself, cleaning my room. And like as trivial as it sounds, I know every like student in the UK is doing that. For me, it's very like weird and cool. Mm -hmm. Every time I do it, I'm like, oh my God, I'm actually living a life I wanted to. So that... Like, literally, cleaning is making me happy at this point. It's a phase that passes. Oh, God. Timer. I'll tell you, uh, we, let's come back to, we've talked enough about what you have done, what you're doing. Right. I want to talk a little bit thoda baad mein about what you plan to do in the future. Because at this point, at being 18, as you very specifically pointed out, yes. the world seems very fascinating. Hmm. I remember when I was 18, I just... I had this I had these friends yeah. from school yeah. who moved to Bombay, who moved to Pune, who moved to South Mech Chennai There were some friends yeah. who went to Canada, Australia and stuff. I never had this fascination to go beyond Delhi. Okay. Because yeah. where, where I'm from, Meerut, is literally hmm. 50 kilometers from Delhi. Yeah, right. And I've been living there for five years. So in a lot of people, not just me. Yeah. The assumption or the natural way of life is 
that you stay close to home yeah which is fair which yeah. is fair yeah but because a lot of people want to stay close to home yeah there is also this fascination about things that are far away yeah the grass is always green on the other side uh, that is that is true come on that is of course yeah. true so for those people yeah. this kind of a story is very interesting yeah. do you do you remember your uh, bahrain oman i mean dubai you would of course remember properly yeah bits and pieces yes not obviously not the entire thing but bahrain i've actually like remember quite a few things yeah and after moving to london how has life changed wait when's your birthday 27 july oh really my mother is on 26 july oh yeah nice hmm so moving to london Hmm. How has life changed for the better? And then we'll talk about how it has changed for the worse. For the worse. Okay, I think there are more for the worse right now. <laughs> um, for the better, um, I think I there has been a boost in my confidence mm. and like my self esteem a lot mm. since I've come to London. I feel like that was like lacking in tremendous amounts when I was in Dubai. Mm. Um. I think because I'd been in that same social circle, known those people for so long that there wasn't any like newness to it, and because they'd known me for so long, I feel like there was like a standstill to the person I was. Mm-hmm. But because since I've come here, no one knew me. Literally, I knew nobody in Kings. I didn't even know any of my friends that had come to Kings with me. None of them. So that was like my chance to, you know, make a new person that I wanted to be. and in ways it has happened in ways it hasn't um but yeah i think that's something that's changed for the better and i'm actually really glad that it has now like i've you know seen a difference in myself and i really like it i want to build on that how how was riya in school different or uh, better or worse from riya in kings college which okay. basically build upon how life is different from school hmm. to college Okay. Because I can promise you, you and I will have very different perceptions of what life in school is compared to life in college. Potentially, okay. So I'll start with Ria in school. Mm. I think Ria in school knew the answer to everything is no. Mm. Yeah. Um. If there's anything happening, no, I don't want to go for this. There's too much work. Um. There's too much to say in this. I can't be like bothered to do this. I'd rather stick to my education and do well in that. Um. and like random things like that like i would just not want to i i wouldn't be willing to do anything mm. but since i've come here everything is like i've literally built four more since i've come here i want to do everything now like there's a party let's go um i like this podcast thing sure let's do it as like you know scared and anxious i was for it i was like you know what i want to do this because it's something that will like help me boost something in myself um and like things like that i've just learned to say yes a little more there are a lot of times that i say no to like loads of things even now but yeah that's definitely the one like thing that's changed the most yeah i think all my school friends will tell you that i'm very like you know a person who keeps things to herself mm-hmm. i don't talk to them a lot i don't communicate very well um i'm a very shy person in like retrospect if i think mm-hmm. about my school life but since i've come here i've like tried to you know get out of my shell a little bit more talk to people throw myself into situations where i'm surrounded by like everyone who's from different nationalities who is completely new to me who's had like completely different life experiences and i've really enjoyed it because they don't know me i can literally bullshit and make a new person <laughs> out of myself and i get a kick out of that And that's that's an experience. I can understand that. I can relate to that. And that's why I was saying that you know have very different perceptions from being from school mm. to college. Yeah. Because coming to college, coming to DU for me yeah. was a downgrade in life. In the sense that you grow up in a convent environment, you have a very different perception of what the world is. Yeah. And when you come to a place where there are people from all sects of the society, yeah. you're just different because you have people from all sects of the world. Yeah. All communities, all languages, all nationalities, all. different perceptions right. in dio you have people from all sections of the society mm-hmm. there are so many different beliefs you encounter mm-hmm. and which is why i'm telling you this ki building yourself as a new person is one of the things that college does to you right yeah. but there's also this risk that comes that you might not stay 
yourself yeah yeah in terms I, of in terms like of that. in terms of trying to become a new person yeah. there is a huge chance that you lose what you what basically makes you true thoughts on that i've actually thought about it a lot because there's, there were some times where i felt like i don't feel like myself mm-hmm. there are some times where i'm like i just need my space to think about the things i've done but then when i come to it the basic like literally the baseline of me is the same mm-hmm. i have been changed in that sense there are still times where i just need to be by myself i need to like think about stuff um i still do the exact same things that i used to do before i speak the same way there's nothing like particularly different about me the one thing that i've learned here is a lot more hindi mm-hmm. which is very weird that i've come to <laughs> london i've learned more hindi but weird. yeah that's the only thing i think mm-hmm. that's been, like majorly changed um but yeah and the, think, the reason that i want to document this at this yes. point in your life in your college in your career is that when you will look back in this 5 years 10 years down the line then you will realize ki what a stupid person oh i'm going to cringe at this so much <laughs> <laughs> see cringe is good i remember i look back on the videos that i made like 2 3 5 years ago yeah and i've been doing this since i was in class 11th Ooh. and when i look back at that i cringe i cringe a lot but then i also look back and think if i had not done that if i had not done those I things i would not have been sitting at this point yeah, right now that is so true yeah mm-hmm. i thing. wish i could think like you you've like literally made everything into positive I'm literally sitting here like no this is just not <laughs> it I don't want to see this ever again that is that is something that uh, I think that is where your experiences also define you yeah which is where uh, all these experiences all this chat that we are having hmm. because of out of this you will take something away yeah. I will take a lot of it away from this as well right I was having this really nice okay thodi philosophical baatein to ho gayi now tell me about the good parts of college good, good parts, parts of the college. party in the fun Ooh. the chill i mean you are in london yeah um i don't think i've lived the london life Hi, it's, it's it's been what it's been 3 like, 4 months yeah. for you no but then i feel like i should have done a lot more yeah like yeah. what like you know just go out a lot more do random things like that because for me i haven't been exposed to that before yeah. like the drinking age in dubai is 21 really? yeah so i can't even go out delhi like that delhi limit's 25 Oh god. But then but of I- India hai. Wahan pe to you have your jagards. Um but yeah. Uh, I think here it's 18, right? It's 18 here. Ah, so which is why. Obviously now so like that that is go. why you were specifying on. Uh, no, not particularly <laughs> the drinking part. Like I enjoy drinking of course. Uh but like it's not like, the main thing that I care about. Um but What was the question again? <laughs> How tell me about the good parts of college. Yes, good parts of college. The good um, parts of being in London. Good, good parts, parts of living of, in central London. Oh, not just London. Roads. Literally you can go out at any point of the night and there will be people and there'll be parties and that's so cool. Literally I'm always like this city never sleeps. Yeah. It's yeah. very nice. But then I think it also depends upon because you're living in such a central location. You are yeah. studying in a college that is so centrally Central, located. Yeah. because i have friends hmm. who have come to london who have studied there for 2 years 3 yeah. years i have gone back yeah. and their experiences have been entirely different hmm. because a unke college hote the bahut dur dur yeah in fact people i know who live in london right now but live in the outskirts live in the suburbs right for them coming to westminster yeah. is an event yeah i get that yeah and you literally live in westminster you can walk to the shard you can yeah. literally shift. the shard is kind of like my campus yeah i mean so, guys campus guys yeah. campus is really pretty yeah I, but I realized that uh, the Strand campus also is very nice. Is it though? We have this uh, very nice uh, roof cafe. Oh yeah, you were talking that's, that's about really it. That's really beautiful. Right. I have to go visit these places. Ah, Maybe you have, my I mean, you guys. You have three years in Kings. Yeah, you yeah. you will end up doing a lot of that. But I can tell you from experience, hmm. you have to do them. You can't put them off for the future, because. But, yeah. Because uh, when I was in Delhi, I remember that my my seventh year college people all went to Goa. But I never went with them because I had already done that. Right. But then I missed out on the experience of going in, going there, going visiting these places with those guys. Yeah, I get that. Which might be the reason I'm not friends with anyone from my college. Oh, that just went deep. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, quite literally, I don't have any friends from college. Yeah. Which I'm regularly in touch with. We were talking about how fascinating London is. Yeah. We were talking about uh, how different London is from Dubai. Oh. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You're talking about how you are into drinking. No. <laughs> <laughs> I the only thing I am into drinking is, is tea. Tea, green tea. I also uh, I remember the couple of times that we have gone out. Yes. You have this fascination with things from Dubai and uh, oh, Arabic God. things. Talk to me about those. Literally went to Harrods yesterday oh. and I freaked out because they were playing like Arabic music in those like electric rickshaw thing yeah. and that spirit of Dubai thing yeah. we saw. Yeah, I have this huge fascination with like Arabic things and understandably so because I've lived in the Middle East my entire life. Mm. So anything that's Arab is just so like homely to me mm. and Like I mean, my second favorite cuisine is Lebanese food and things like What's that. What's your favorite cuisine? Indian. Uh, talk to me about India. I mean, you've lived all your life in Dubai. Yeah. What is your perception, experience of India? Well, actually, you know what? As much as I would say that I've not lived in India my entire life and anything, um, there was a point where, like, for a good six, seven years, we were going to India thrice a year. Oh. Which is quite a bit. I I mean at least to me like um some of vacations ke liye two months mm. in India mm. um Diwali mm. and then before like in March we would have holidays so we'd go like for like half a month mm. which I mean I wouldn't get like the proper Indian experience not not in, because sure I mean not. the time that you were going mm. like the best times to be there I mean Diwali is of course fascinating yeah. throughout no I love Diwali yes summer vacations is of course fascinating mm. kuch hota nahi hai karne ko hai miss summer vacations <laughs> Even though college में छुट्टी मिलती थी तीन चार महीने की तो कॉलेज वैकेशन में स्टिल लॉन्गर दैन स्टिल इट इज लॉन्गर दैन स्कूल वाला वैकेशन बट वो परसेप्शन चेंज हो जाता है लाइफ का बिकॉज़ वंस यू गो बैक फ्रॉम कॉलेज यू रियलाइज दैट नॉट ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स आर देयर ओह डोंट से दैट हर्ट्स माय हार्ट आई हैव नॉट गॉन बैक आई हैव नॉट गॉन बैक आई हैव नॉट गॉन बैक मीन आई डिड बट लाइक व्हाट यू वेंट फॉर फिफ्टीन डेज फिफ्टीन डेज इज नॉट इनफ यू विल रियलाइज दिस व्हेन यू गो होम दिस टाइम इन योर Some Don't ruin my like happy moments. <laughs> But these are experiences that you have to yeah. go through to you know. College, yeah, he does. This is what college is. College is yeah. very. I'll tell you, college is extremely fun at times. Extremely But a lot, a lot of times, it's very depressing, very lonely. Yeah. Especially assignment while a time job होता है. You realize everyone is busy with their own shit, and you have to go through it yourself. Yeah. Which is the bad aspects of yeah. being uh, independent. Talk to me about those. You said that there's a lot of worse aspects of coming to London, moving to moving abroad. Um, moving from the abroad to live, but moving to London. I Talk to me about the bad things. Give me some. क्या कहते हैं? क्या कहते हो तुम बच्चे? Goss, sass, tea. Yes, the tea. The tea. Yeah. Spill the tea, Spill sis. The tea. <laughs> um, See, this is what fascinates me. These uh, slangs that I never millen- knew. Millen- millennial. You are not a millennial. I'm not. You are a Gen Z. Z or जो भी कहते हैं वो Gen Z. Yeah, Gen Zers. You were born after two thousand. टेक्निकलिटी Like my cousin, she's born in 1999, and she's mm. like, "No, I'm like a 90s kid. I was with it. You aren't." And I'm like, "No." But then your experience of growing up is entirely different from someone in India, yeah. na? Yeah. I, Because I things that know, be- things that became popular in the 90s across the world yeah. in US and uh, stuff yeah. came to India came, in the 2000s. Exactly. That's that's exactly what I tell everyone. So technically, I've lived. You've in lived the You've lived those 90s. experiences. Technically. <laughs> technically, even though you were not yeah. even born then. <laughs> Shush, no one needs to know that. <laughs> I think we've told you we're eighteen. We're doing this in twenty twenty. Ah, so yeah. talking about the bad stuff. Yes. Um, you know, as I said, like independence mm. and um, doing things on your own. There are times where like I'm also bored of it. I don't mm. want. I'm tired. I've come back home after a lecture. I don't want to cook for myself. Uh. I don't want to do that. I don't want to like Hoover every fourth day. Oh yeah. I like who wants to enjoy Let, that? Explain Hoovering. Nobody oh, knows what vacuum. hoovering is. Vacuum. Uh, nobody other than hoovering. hair knows what hoovering, hoovering is. Hoovering is. I go भी नहीं पता था. झाड़ू मारना. Should I want socks? My feet are getting cold. Do you want socks? I have socks, but I'm too lazy now to go and <laughs> wear them. It's just easier to put yeah. this on my feet. हाँ, hoovering. Hoovering का concept मेरे को बड़ा fascinating लगा. यहाँ पे लोग झाड़ू नहीं मारते. Carpet होता है हर जगह. Hmm, that is true. But like really? हमारे यहाँ vacuum नहीं होता. We don't. वैक्यूम हमारे यहाँ झाड़ू होता है हम मॉप करते हैं अपने फ्लोर्स को 
मार्बल के फ्लोर होते हैं ना हमारे यहाँ हाँ, तो मेरे यहाँ भी वो भी, भी वैक्यूम होती है really? बिना बात के धूल आती रहती है Do you know cooking? Did you learn um, it after moving here? So the thing is, I'm not very good at like Indian cooking or anything. Mm. Like I can make dal, mm. I can make chawal, mm. I can make that like random sabzi here mm. or there. Like I have the sense of spices in Indian food, but I still don't know everything. But like Dubai, me, I never ever like made food as mm. such. I would make like random things. Like I know how to make chia pudding. I know how to make tiramisu. I know like sub, things sub, like sub, that. Sub hai. <laughs> no, yeah, I know meat hai. No, but like I can make very nice like vegetables, like mm. sauteed vegetables, and just you know like out of the ordinary, just stupid stuff like that. <laughs> I can make, which I think that kind of describes the my like eating habits. Mm. Like I make great salad, and like I can live on salad my entire life. So which brings me to a very important aspect as well. How do you keep? I mean, how important is staying fit? Not important at all. Not important at I all. I mean, I, at at this point, it should not be even. I I like I want to stay fit enough that like I'm not dying from a disease. <laughs> Lit. I don't want to be diabetic. Uh, I don't want to have cholesterol. Uh, um. I don't want any like heart diseases anywhere. Like now in my life, I also don't want cavities. Touch wood, haven't got any till now. My brother has too many. <laughs> cool. Yeah. And I don't think I've ever been to the dentist. Really. I think so. You're supposed to have like three month checkups. I, our yeah concept नहीं है dentist का. जब तक कोई problem नहीं है. दांत ना निकल गया. जब तक dentist नहीं चाहिए. Thankfully, my genetics have been my parents. जाने. हाँ. Talking about pray. I want to talk about parents as well, but hmm. we're running out of storage space in the camera. I have an SD card. You do? Yes. People don't seem to understand, but making videos is a very tedious tedious job. Yeah. monotonous exhausting job i know i can understand because i like me and my three other friends yeah. we had a youtube channel you did tell me about that before we talk about your parents speak a little louder and tell me we'll we'll oh, give you a we'll give you a shout out we'll no, give you a shout please out please don't the channel is now deleted <laughs> <laughs> it was called dart us dart us d a r t dart us Ah. Yes, but oh, it was you know it, like you mean? know the slang like heart us. Oh, right. Nah, so it was like a ko, play on that. इतने slang तो मेरे को आते ही नहीं. I'm not. And there's a story behind like D A R T. It ah. was like the initials of, of the all four of you people. Four girls? Yeah, oh. I'm not gonna name the people. <laughs> Let's not. I know that. R stands for Ria. Yes, R stands for <laughs> Ria. Who else? Ah. Um, but yeah, we had a YouTube channel. We did like. the whipping like whipped cream challenge on the what is a whipped cream challenge it's like um so like two people mm. like one person asks you the question if the person gets it right then no whipped cream on your face but oh, if like you, you know you get it wrong then you slap like you don't tell them you just slap we did all of that but were, were they good did they get any views no um, no <laughs> well the views were more from like us itself <laughs> and like we shared it amongst our friends and they i think we got like Hundred views, which was such a big deal. I remember, I remember my first hundred views. Yeah, I remember all my milestones. I remember my first ten subscribers, which I made myself. I made a ten email ID. Then I remember hundred. Yeah. I remember hundred views on my first video. Then I remember thousand. Then I remember five thousand. Five thousand. But I took my entire family out to, you know, I mean, four people were there, but entire family. I remember ten thousand. Then twenty-five thousand was uh, this month. Hmm. Now we are closing in on fifty. That's so nice. So, wow. काफी मेहनत है. Two and a half years I've been making videos on the channel. Yeah. But I feel like once you get to a point, it just goes up, up, up. So that is, I mean, वो तो life में हर चीज के साथ होता है. Yeah. You just have to be persistent with it. The graph will always keep on going like this. Yeah. But the more persistent you are, this wave will only go up. Yeah. So ऐसे wave होता रहेगा, but ultimately it'll go up. Hmm. मुझे याद नहीं इकोनॉमिक्स में इसका कुछ टर्म होता है दिस इज कॉल्ड समथिंग आई हैव स्टडीड दिस इन माय क्लास 12th आई डोंट रिमेंबर व्हाट इट वाज कॉल्ड इकोनॉमिक्स 
economics. You don't have economics? We Achha had it till 10th, but then my nephew chose the young. So I didn't take diya. math. So I couldn't bio take math. Bio or math? Achha, haan, bio or math? Math or math? I took psychology instead. So. Okay, I, sh- I still want to study psychology. It's I remember when I, when I graduated, hmm. I took an open course in psychology. Oh. Open course, basically correspondence, where you don't yeah. go to the college, but you study. But you study, yeah. But then I got so involved with work. That you just didn't end up doing it. So I still have uh, one year of psychology study that I've done. But I I think I can still go and finish the degree if I want to. Did you study about Sigmund Freud? You must have. Uh, Sigmund Freud too, I studied yeah. in my Eng- literature as well. Literature? Matlab? English literature. Na. English literature is a very fascinating thing, eh, literature. How did you do Sigmund Freud in literature? We had some essays uh, and uh, academic essays for him of uh, Freud. I've had this fascination with uh, literature ever since I was in class uh, 8th. I remember reading this poem, uh, La Belle Dame Sa Mercy. Oh, I don't know. It's a very fascinating poem. Hai. John Keats's poem. Hai. Oh, I just know like, all the beautiful, hmm. something like that, beautiful things, something like that. Hmm. That's John Keats. Hmm. Yeah. So I read that poem in class 8th or 9th, I don't remember. Yeah. But I was fascinated with that poem. Like, there was this beautiful imagery, it was a good rhyme scheme. Thi. Hmm. And that poem has struck stuck with me hmm. since then in fact one of the first videos that i made was on this poem wow and that still till date is the best video i've made i made it 2 years ago and i have not been able to pass that benchmark because usme pata nahi kya passion tha i'll show it to you later but uh, that is where the fascination with literature started then 9th may 10th may we had all these fascinating stories poems we had shakespeare ke play hmm. throughout uh, 12th I was like, if if I am passionate about this, yeah, might as well go and study. Yeah. And that is something uh, that I did. I chose a course over choosing a good Duke college. Mm. And while that has had mixed effect impact on my life, yeah, but I think it was for the better because I studied what I wanted to. Yeah, that's good. I, that's the reason I asked you this because, like, when did you go to uni? What year was it? Fourteen to seventeen. Yeah, so even at that time, I feel like the, the, if like science and maths was very like dominant. Ah, well. so this is where the parents thing comes in. Yeah, my parents never stopped me from doing anything. Oh, that's very. I was like, do good. what you want. Hmm. As long as you feel that's the right thing to do, hmm. do what you want. We are always standing behind you. That's so sweet and like yeah. that's very nice. Plus that they also. फिर वो ये भी बोलते हैं कि हमारी भी सरकारी जॉब है हम तो रिटायर हो जाएंगे हमारी पेंशन आएगी तो अपना देख ले हम सॉर्टेड है तेरे को जो करना है तो कर हम रोकेंगे नहीं क्योंकि हम तेरे पर डिपेंडेंट नहीं है बट इफ यू एक्सपेक्टिंग फॉर अस टू टेक केयर ऑफ यू थ्रू योर लाइफ देन वो नहीं होगा हम अपना देख लेंगे तो अपना देख लेंगे व्हिच इज नाइस दैट्स अ नाइस वे ऑफ लिविंग दैट्स अ नाइस वे ऑफ लिविंग एंड दैट इज वेयर एवरीथिंग कम्स इन इन द सेंस दैट आई टेक एवरीथिंग पॉजिटिवली आई डोंट थिंक देयर इज एनीथिंग लाइक अ नेगेटिव एक्सपीरियंस इन लाइफ या एवरीथिंग आई मीन ऑफ कोर्स इफ यू इफ यू आर इफ यू आर पंच्ड और इफ यू आर Rob, then it's a negative experience. But then also you. No, if it, yeah, it, I mean, of course, like like that. Yes, obviously, I got robbed yesterday. <laughs> negative, but then there's something you take out of it. You say you do something, take mm. take something out of it, which is my point. There are no negative experiences in your life. Mm. Everything you experience, everything you do, you can turn, us go into positive things. This brings me to the point that I want to talk about. Mm. How have your uh, rela- How has your relationship with your parents evolved when you move abroad? Okay. Because it's a new thing for them. It's a new thing yeah. for you. Actually, I do have something to say for this. So, mm-hmm. like in general, I'm extremely close to my parents, mm-hmm. um, to a point where it's kind of concerning. <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes, like give me my space, please. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm very close to my mom. But like when I went home this time, um, I saw that little shift in her. Mm-hmm. Like when I was in Dubai before I came here, she would be very like. over my head constantly trying to tell me do this do that you know um get ready on time wake up on time things like that and this time when i went she was like wah bhi apne aap hi karti hai so you yeah, just you know figure it out now yeah, like things have to happen your way like then i remember i was very dominant like i mean not dominant sorry that's the wrong <laughs> word i was very like dependent on her mm. that mujhe yahan jana hai so can you take me by car because wahan pe public transport isn't a huge thing mm. um and she would like take me and everything 
But this time I was like, no, I can take the metro by myself. Mm. Even when there's extra like 10, 15 minutes walking in the heat, I'll do that. Because here I do it too. So like yeah. how hard can it be to do it in Dubai? And like, I think she saw that change in me. And I saw like all that change in her. Mm. And my dad's now become super cool as well. Yeah. Like before he used to just get angry at little things and all that. And he still does. You can't change the nature of a person. But um, he was so much more chill. Mm-hmm. And like... I remember like this time we went out and he literally went and he asked like the bartender to get me like he got me a vodka just like I didn't even ask (laughs) he came and gave it to me and I was like this is the coolest thing I've ever like that's ever happened in my life like my dad came and he was like here you go vodka and like 20 minutes later um like he saw that my glass was still like half um like full he was like finish that quickly I'll get you another one I was like that's I love my dad. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a that's actually very nice to her. Hmm. But why I wanted to ask you that was that your parents are also evolving, just yeah. as you are. Yeah. And I know you have just gone past that phase where you like my parents don't know anything. Basically, yeah. the teenage phase. I, I think mean, I'm still there. <laughs> you're still there. It'll be there for another couple of years. Yeah. But over time, you'll realize that. Uh, I mean, I can tell you this from experience. Hmm. Over the next few years, because you stay away from your parents, hmm. you will grow much closer to them. Yeah. Of course, you miss them because you can't be with them. Hmm. But then that's also the part of life. That's something that my parents have taught me very early in life. Yeah. That if you want to move ahead in life, hmm. you can't keep holding back to the yeah. things yeah. that you have in your past. True. You, it's, they happen. That's one nice. Your family is nice. Your home is nice. But if you want to move ahead, you, you have, have to, to move away from. You have to get out of your comfort zone. You have to get out of home. Yeah, which is true. I feel like that's one place I'm actually good at though. Mm. Like if you take me out of like a very comfortable setting like mm. Dubai, put me here. Even though it was a big change for me, I was okay with it. Like it didn't, I don't think I've gotten homesick except like the one time, like right at the beginning. I was slightly like, oh, I kind of miss home. Yeah. But since then I really haven't. But well, then you made homesick. friends and you started enjoying going yeah, to college. Yeah, yeah, like. I'm in that sense my mom has also told me that you mm. easily just adapt to that environment you don't care that's a which good. is I mean it's good and it's to a, a good. point actually it's not very good because she's like you don't remember us anymore oh to hoga wo to mummy yeah. tera emotional nahi hogi to mummy kaise hai wo mm. this time I got a huge lecture when I went to she huh? was like you don't speak to us you don't call us and I was like so that is something that you should do every day. Make a point to call your parents for 10 minutes 5 minutes every day I try to but then like no, you so should. much happened over the past 5 forget. years hmm I don't think I've missed a day without calling wow. her. Like okay. uh, to this point, our time fixed. Like, my mummy's call came. Yeah. This is the time that I can FaceTime them. If I don't, if I can't FaceTime them, I'll give them a call, talk to them for five minutes, mm-hmm. and put it down and tell them we'll talk tomorrow. Yeah. But make it a habit. It's very easy to do. That's when I call her. It's not a big deal. I try to, but then I'm forgetful. Like that. Ah. It just doesn't happen. But okay, that that's a habit. It'll that it'll come into like play and sometimes. You have a lot of these experiences over the next few years. There will be periods where you will miss home like crazy. Hmm. You'll be like, I want to go flight to home. Yeah. And then you'll not be able to. Yeah. And then you'll grow with those experiences. Because it's like that. Like, my house is literally 50 km away. Yeah. So I can take a cab and reach home in two hours. Yeah. And I've done that. I was missing home so much. That you were. I was coming to home. This was one time when I was ill. I had fever. Hmm. And I was like, I, usually I, you take care of yourself. You don't go anywhere. You take a couple of medicines, sleep it off. Yeah. I called a cab at 4 in the morning. I got into the cab, slept. Although, thankfully, I got the location. So, I got the cab. 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 I got how have they been uh, in terms of your, I mean, college, hai, you have yeah. relationships, you will experience, yeah. you'll meet new people. How has yeah. that been? Okay. But meeting new people, they've always encouraged me, like, go out. Mm. My, I think the only thing my dad was kind of skeptical about in this beginning was um, going to bars and going mm. to clubs. I think he, that's the only thing that he was like, I'm not sure you should do that right now. Mm. Because he knew I'd never experienced that before. Mm. And he kind of wanted that first experience to be with him and like my parents in to general. someone who yeah. is responsible. Exactly. Around. So he, my mom actually has told me this. I kind of want you to go out with us to a bar 
and you can drink mm. do whatever but they also want you to see what happens around you when you're not drunk and like how yeah. when everyone else is drunk so like notice that and then understand till where you should drink and where you shouldn't so that's a that's that's actually very sage advice <laughs> that mom. is the only reason that i don't drink yeah throughout my college life i've been to a lot of these clubs and bars because i have these friends who want to go and party every time i mean yeah. you of course have those friends everyone wants to experience that yeah. but whenever i've gone i've never felt the inclination to drink because i know hmm. that uh, the ultimately uska ulterior point hi hota tha ki mere ko sabka dhyan rakhna padta tha fir and we came my responsibility to get everyone home home yeah but then you understand that there are things that can get out of control if you don't keep yourself in check yeah so it's important to know that uh, limit Yeah, but then so. it's also important to experience letting go completely already happened <laughs> did enjoy it <laughs> but right the whole night ha acha nahi i i left that day you left i that left that day, day yeah. early okay i missed that no Wait, but it's happened i think after that. i didn't cry mm. but just but then you can only do that with the uh, people you trust yeah. people you yeah. i don't with. think i've drunk with people i don't trust like mm. even if there are like two three people i'm not comfortable with when, when did you when did you first drink when, mm, so my no parents for, don't know this yeah. but um so we had a senior trip yeah. um so in no, school class 12 11 no actually nahi that's not the first time i drank yeah. are you talking about proper drinking or taking like a few sips both Okay. Few sips, so um, oh, I was very is, young. My camera is shut off. Cool. Okay. Yeah, go on, go on. Okay. <laughs> Few sips is basically when like um, I was eight. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, my dad gave me like two. Ah, three that sips. is. Yeah, I mean I don't think that counts, but also that, like that doesn't count. Yeah, but that, that was count. like my first time. I kind of like drank it. I think it. I think that might be illegal. Huh? <laughs> that might be illegal. <laughs> but it was my dad. <laughs> oh no, I shouldn't say stuff like that. <laughs> oh no! But like proper drinking. No, we'll say that. वो बुखार उतारने के लिए तो brandy पिला दी. हाँ, bra- <laughs> थोड़ी सी brandy पिला दी थी. Wasn't whiskey at all. Yeah, yeah. Um, but proper drinking, I think. Oh God. No, no. Complete the thought. Yes. Okay. Fine. So I think proper drinking was um, breezer. Hmm. Um, at home. Um, But I don't think I would consider that because I didn't like feel anything after it. Either the four percent alcohol yeah, or that. Yeah, no, no, nothing. 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 So there's this place called Alain, which is an hour and a half mm. to us away from Dubai. It's basically like you know how like India has states, mm. so we have these things called Emirates. Mm. Uh, so it's one of the seven Emirates, and it was like on a hilltop. Oh. Yeah, and it was like proper resort vibe. Um, and yeah, we were playing pool, and we were playing like, and we were in the pool at one point, and it was all fun. And then someone in my group realized, oh, we don't have alcohol, and then. Um, someone was like, "Oh no, wait! We can just get it from the mini bar. We'll yeah. pay for it." Uh, bad me, and uh, that's the stupidest idea. But obviously, because we were under eighteen, they took away all the alcohol from yeah. the fridges. Um, but we found a way. We we stole it from the um, like you know, like there's a presidential suite mm. for the teachers. Yeah, we went in there and we poured it out into mm-hmm. like uh, water bottles. Oh. Yeah, and then we hid it inside a jacket to sleeve. and we got it um and my this was my idea I was like let's make tea huh. because tea and scotch ka color is kind of the same to huh. so tea bhar denge usme but the issue was because hotel ka bottle tha it, the only thing you could do is take the alcohol out and not put it in they had like a nozzle like a stopper uh-huh. and we couldn't put the tea in to so humne literally usko yank kara like like the wash basin and like um होटल A bottle has been like taken, uh, taken, not taken, but Listen. like it's been opened and diluted and stuff. And 
because it was the teacher so it's the teachers who asked first and the teacher said that we don't know anything about it mm. and then there was a whole like search for it oh. we weren't got we weren't got but mm. Yes, this no. should not be said on the camera at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's a crazy story. Yeah, this crazy story happened with everyone. I remember I, when I went on my school trip to Manali. We went to Manali. Yeah. And of course, we were all small kids. We had hmm. like fifty, sixty kids, hmm. four teachers. Teachers, अपना खुद जाके सो गए, अपना बैठ के वो पी रहे होंगे. So I remember uh, a lot of people drank for the first time there. मेरा एक दोस्त था, one of my oldest friends. Yeah. That poor guy. <laughs> क्रेजी स्टोरी हम लोगों ने दारू पी या फिर हम लोगों ने कहा कि हम दूसरी बोतल लेके आ रहे हैं तो दरवाजे पे खड़े रह के वेट कर हमारा ताकि okay. कोई टीचर अंदर ना जाए सो बिकॉज़ वहां पे सब सामान खुला हुआ था एंड दैट गाय वाज स्टैंडिंग आउटसाइड इन -2 डिग्री टेंपरेचर वी सेड वी विल कम बैक इन 5 मिनट्स ओके वी वेंट टू अनदर रूम एंड बिकॉज़ पीपल वर ड्रंक वी फॉरगॉट दैट वी लेफ्ट हिम स्टैंडिंग देयर एंड दैट गाय आल्सो वाज ड्रंक So he stood. He stood there for one and a half hours in minus two degrees, and he kept standing outside. अब वो बेचारा खड़ा रहा, और फिर हम आज भी उसको चढ़ाते हैं कि बस खड़ा ही रहा। उसके बाद से उसकी capacity improve हो गई है, लगा काफी बढ़ गया है। There was this guy who had never smoked, hmm. वो बड़ा स्वाग में आया हमसे हाँ. आने। That guy, <laughs> it's a lady, but that guy is like four, eight, four, nine. छोटा yeah. सा प्यारा सा cute सा बच्चा है वो। हाँ. ट्वेल्थ क्लास का था उसने कभी सिगरेट नहीं पी थी राइट right. वो आया हम पे बड़े स्वाग में गया सिगरेट पीऊंगा hmm. सिगरेट ली उसने एंड हाउ वी नो कि उसने कभी नहीं पी थी क्योंकि वो फिल्टर से जला रहा था उसको राइट right. अब जलाने के बाद पूछ रहा था कि जल क्यों नहीं पी क्या हो रहा है अनदर क्रेजी स्टोरी इज दैट अनदर गाय गॉट ड्रंक या स्टार्ट टॉकिंग टू अ बोल्डर पत्थर से बात कर रहा था वो सो ऑल ऑफ दिस क्रेजी थिंग्स हैपन on school trips you won't see as crazy stuff happening on college trips. yeah those things don't happen because there's like a thrill mm. of defying the rules and stuff i think like i that. think college mein like you spoke about yeah. college mein you also start to becoming a different person yeah mm. college mein you also start meeting a lot of new people you want to present the best version of you yeah haan ji to we're moving on to the last couple of segments mm. because I can feel myself getting my energy drained out. <laughs> I want you to be, थोड़ा energized and yeah. hip for this. A beat. So, okay. थोड़ा और a beat. Sit, yes. Sit straight. And okay. Just your hair, whatever. Okay. Fine. Is this some sort of challenge? What like? is this? ये क्या होता है ये? And just like getting ready to <laughs> fight. <laughs> no, I want to move to the fun aspect of it. How fun has it been meeting new people? Hmm. I will say it's like fifty fifty for 50, me. Fifty fifty. Yeah. Because I. I have like diagnosed anxiety, so okay. meeting new people for me can be very challenging mm. because I literally like the entire time I'm going to meet that person, I'll be thinking, how's this conversation going to go? What am I going to say? And then I give myself scenarios of like, if this person says this line, yeah. how would you reply to it? And then I'll like assess myself on that line and I'll judge myself. as like the other person would oh. saying like um say if i say like my name is ria even that will be like should i say that in some other way how should yeah. i say it how will that come across just i overthink so much i hope you're not overthinking for this um, podcast not as much i think yeah. that's because i know you now so it's not as like crazy for me mm. but there's obviously a little bit like oh, don't mess up don't it's mess fine. up don't mess up <laughs> <laughs> that's okay yeah. i think it's okay to mess up Which is what I tell you guys anyway. Yeah, given you do. Given to the given to the peer pressure. That's the <laughs> do good. it. Or what? I, I mean, remember the first time I met you. That's the. the when did you meet me for the first time? Uh, Vauxhall. I'm pretty sure. I'm the probably. Vauxhall. Um, wait, were you there for that Queen? Ka, uh, I was there yeah, for the Queen. Yeah, when thing. that day. Mm. That's when I met like everyone. Mm. I remember like we sat around later on that night. Mm. Um, and we were, I think. No, I don't think that was that night. It was the next night where mm. everyone was like doing truth or dare and stuff, and you were sitting there, and mm-hmm. someone was saying like, "I don't want to drink. I don't want to drink. I'm not drinking today." And you were like, "No, give in to the peer pressure. Give in mm-hmm. to." Yeah, and I think that's my first memories of you. I was like, "This guy is literally so cool." <laughs> well, I, and that's I'll tell you this. I was not the. I was not like this in Delhi. Hmm. Well, I had I had this whole group of people who I went out chilled with. Yeah. They drank. They smoke up. I, I should also not be saying this on camera, <laughs> because I don't do it traditionally. I'll cut this out. But mm. Delhi, me, no one knows that I 
drink in the day. Yeah. Other than the few close friends that I have, yeah. like the three or four people that I know, hmm. other than them, I don't think my the my reputation is that I don't drink, which I want to sustain there. Yeah. You did that here as well for quite long. See, that is also something that I realized, well, hmm. quite early in my college life, that hmm. regardless of whether you drink. Yeah. regardless whether you don't drink regardless whether you smoke up or you don't smoke up yeah. doing either or or doing both does not make you any different in the eyes of the people no. or no matlab it won't make a difference whether you are doing it or not doing it yeah people will yeah. ask you to do it a couple of times if you don't they'll move on yeah right of course and if you it's like a lot of people i know have this perception ki jo log daru peete hain ya jo log smoke up karte hain yeah they are matlab uh, they have negative perceptions around those people right i get that and that yeah. is what i have learned ki there is no point in having that yeah. after a certain level nobody yeah. cares i exactly. mean i know school mein hota hai ki tumne daru pee smoke up kara to bahut it's a pretty big deal yeah but once you move on you meet new people i don't and i also feel like now it's so normalized yeah it's normalized it's normalized here it's normalized it's here it's extremely normalized, it's normalized here there. so delhi mein 25 ki age hai daru peene ki tum yeah kahin, before that tum kahin ja ke pee nahi sakte ho daru in fact recently it has been more uh, strict but earlier you could go and have a drink you get beers hmm. now they do check ids yeah but i have friends who have fake ids so no that. but like i went to chandigarh this um like summer hmm. and my friend she's the same age as hmm. me without fake id without anything she went to this like uh kind of like reputable theka <laughs> literally um and she Nain. went and got vodka from there theka staro nikalna bahut aasan hai yeah theka staro nikalna tha humne do bottle nikal li thi ko yeah of course theka staro nikalna bahut aasan hai provided that you reach in time but then reach in time matlab 10 baje baad aata hai na theka acha ha right because i have i have spent nights walking literally kyunki raat mein auto wale chalne ko nahi mante uber wala nahi aapko bhayega nahi uber wala i remember we walked for one and a half hours one night or three of us Just trying to find some theka that would have been open as a daru le paaye mila hame to gaya mil to gaya gk mein gk n block nahi kalash colony mein in fact ek hai jo raat ko khula rehta hai thoda sa shutter on rehta hai uska you know you need to know where it is yeah. you need to No, no, the right procedure. Yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way. Where yeah, there's a will, there's a way. But no, I want to talk about this more. Uh, hmm. Meeting new people. Yes. Uh, you've made a lot of Indian friends. Yes, quite a few. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like um, I always studied in a CBSE school, so everyone around me was Indian. Um, and I've grown up in a pretty Indian environment as such. Even in Dubai, like because it's so like heavily dominated, dominated by like. Indians and Pakistani and all of that, like my entire like childhood has been around like the Indian culture. Anyways, obviously influenced by other things, but um, it's mainly that. So it was much more easier to like speak to these people to make friends with them. Of course, I've made a, like not as many, but a good few other friends who are not Indian. Mm. Um, but yeah, I do feel like I should probably venture out more and like. Yeah, no, that's that's what I feel as well. Yeah, I've started. Uh, meeting well chatting more with the people in my course yeah that's why i go to the youtube space because i can meet more people there yeah because i feel like at the end of the day the point the reason like the mm-hmm. one of the biggest reasons why i'm here is to like you know grow myself in that situation but then i'll also give you this that you have uh, still two more years to do this true still two yeah. and a half more years to do this yeah. because after a certain point you'll realize ki while these people are there you need to move on and meet new people yeah But that will happen as you grow in college. Yeah, I guess. I think my thinking of this is that, like, if I didn't make those friends now, when like still like groups are forming, yeah. people aren't in like their mm. friend circles as of now, it's much more easier to make their friends. But in second year, when everyone already has their friends, it'll be so much more harder to just See, like intrigue, uh, so, like go into a group. Which is why I've that. started hanging out with people in my college thesis because the first time around in DU, yeah, I purposely stayed out of groups. Mm-hmm. I had two or three friends who I would meet in class. I would sit with them, chill with them, yeah. and then I would go home. When I joined my debating society and my theatre society, yeah, that is when I made people I could actually have a nice, decent conversation with. Yeah. But then I left theatre after two years because, well, for whatever. Right. Then I grew away from those people. Yeah, I guess. But debate वाले debate वाले लोग शार होते हैं बड़े. Very. यहाँ वाले नहीं. Extremely. यहाँ वाले नहीं हैं. After looking at them. Yeah. So that is a there different. Are, there are there are certain two people that I enjoyed the most. Mm. I think you know. 
tell me about that more what tell me about people you have met people you have liked how how is this whole i mean you are 18 years old yeah this is a new fascinating world of yes. a lot of different people of a lot of different personalities yeah how has that been so far and how how different it is from what you perceived hmm okay so to me i feel like i've always grown up in an environment where everything's so chill mm. like no one cares mm. literally like none of my friends have ever given a shit about anything mm. can i say shit ha ah. okay. <laughs> um but like since i've come here i've realized that like lots of people take even the tiniest thing seriously and you have to keep that in mind when you speak to those certain people mm. um i think that for look about like meeting new people has become like a huge realization for me that everyone's coming from different places mm. everyone finds extremely different things normal and you have to adapt yourself to their like needs mm. as well at some points because some people are extremely rigid in what they like think is right and if you can't do that um then you just either you don't be friends with them or you just like it just doesn't work yeah right so and that way i feel like everyone is a little bit like that so in, at the end it's not like you don't want to make any friends so there are certain things that i have to take like, keep in mind about people and like i think that's come like it's a bit more like of a real- it's something that i've started to believe in very recently hmm. that there are people people operate on different frequencies frequencies yeah and if you can't vibe with them on the same frequency yeah. and you can't connect with them. Can't connect with them i mean regardless of how much you force it hmm. it won't happen if you don't have the same kind of i think it's called zen yeah it is zen maybe it is zen maybe i feel like zen is in the most adaptive like particular word i i, I really want to get into this i had this friend in college yeah. who was in the buddhist meditation oh, buddhist yeah. zen aise hi kuch bolti thi wo mere ko she has these uh, chants and all i yeah. visited one of their uh, session it was really good My mom's extremely like interested in meditation stuff. She does it every week. Like she goes for these. Ah, that is what stuff. I started to get into. I've started to meditate good. once a week. It's very daunting. Mm. Just sitting there, all these thoughts running in your head. Are you able to focus? As initially, I was not. Mm. Now I have started to get. थोड़ा बहुत feel flow. सामने एक छोटा सा कोना है भगवान जी का ऊपर भी भगवान जी है उनके साइड में डोरेमोन है उसके साइड में डोरेमोन डोरेमोन इज आल्सो भगवान फॉर मी फॉक यार आई ऑल रिमेंबर वाचिंग डोरेमोन आई रिमेंबर वाचिंग डोरेमोन ऑन आवर्स ऑन एंड यस बहुत फैसिनेटिंग शो है डोरेमोन एंड डोरेमोन एंड अदर शोस लाइक ये निंजा हथौड़ी होता था शिनचान शिनचान आल्सो माय डैड लव्स शिनचान या वाओ माय डैड इज अ वेरी बिग शिनचान फैन आई फील लाइक पेरेंट्स डिडंट एंजॉय शिनचान एज मच दे वर लाइक दे आर इंस्टिलिंग बैड वैल्यूज इन किड्स माय मॉम इज वेरी अगेंस्ट शिनचान शी वाज लाइक डोंट बी लाइक शिनचान अदरवाइज वो शिनचान में जो लगते बड़ा सा लगता था शी वाज लाइक वो मारूंगी नो बट टॉक टू मी अबाउट स्पिरिचुअलिटी ओके वेयर डज वेयर डज योर स्पिरिचुअलिटी कम फ्रॉम लाइक डू यू बिलीव in the or the you are a hindu by religion i am a hindu by religion and yeah. like how, by how, choice how how religious um i wouldn't say like mai subah uth ke puja karti or something like that i don't do all that stuff and but it's always at the back of my head that like if anything goes wrong it's like you know i say oh krishna or something like that yeah it's like either mamma ka naam aata hai krishna ka naam aata hai yeah um For, like because for me krishna is like probably the most important for me god yeah, it's a good thing yeah. i want to yeah. talk about so i've always had laddu gopal jo choti si murti hoti hai um in like dubai my entire life and before my brother came um and stuff like he, before he was born i used to tie rakhi mm-hmm. to him and like that's why i think we have that connection and like i consider krishna as my brother so yeah i think that's like my initial stage of like understanding about spirituality but i think more than anything i i feel like there is a certain power that is mm-hmm. above us all and that's looking like upon us and i i think lots of people are like you know you can't you don't know if this power exists yeah. but then i'm also like you don't know if it does not yeah. right like just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there but does spirituality or religion define certain parts of your life not particularly i don't feel like that no i don't i wouldn't say so like i'm not so heavily into it but then i i'm 
I do enjoy like the occasional like um, you know I like going to Gurdwara a lot mm. I sit there and I can stay there for hours and just like thinking about stuff and thinking that like there is someone there mm. taking care of me sometimes I've like literally cried in the Gurdwara because it's just so like powerful yeah, that's that true. room and like you were saying about meditation so I because I said like the anxiety thing um i was asked to like meditate a little bit more and that actually has helped me like focus and understand mm. like you know that one power that one light a lot more so yeah so i asked this because uh, being religious being yeah. spiritual is kind of the not cool thing these days yeah i know i get that like being an atheist has become is the, the trend the, the trend become yeah. the cool thing yeah Like I don't believe in God. I I get that so much. There's so many people huh. around me who are like I don't believe in God. It's so uncool. They I've like literally yeah. heard that. So, so exactly that is that is that is what yeah. I want to talk about. It's very fascinating to have an opinion that kind of is in line with mine because I don't get it. Hmm. A lot. A lot of right. people I meet are like I don't believe in God. Right. God is a concept that uh, because I think that is also because of all the bad stuff that is happening in considering religion. Yeah. Which is okay. Yeah. The, I get that point. It's not cool. into politics ha ah, that's yeah. that's but that yeah but that's yeah. mixing religion with politics yeah. so i my parents are what you call an arya samajiv hmm. so we don't believe in particular gods okay for example we don't believe that there's an indra we don't believe that there's a brahma but my, so my dad is an arya samajiv my mother kind of believes in that hmm. so arya samaj believes hmm. that there is a god of course there is hmm. a supreme power yeah. and all of the people that we worship ram shri krishna all these were actual historical figures hmm. that have lived that have done the uh, tales that we Speak hear and worship yeah. yeah and that is why they are worshipable because they were kind of uh, inspirational to hum ye nahi kehte ki krishna bhagwan hai hum kehte hain krishna ne jo kiya wo kiya and uske liye jo unhone kiya that was a thing of uh, stand up a thing of power and that is why we worship them so that's that is where i come from. so that is the arya samaj way of seeing this we don't worship idols okay we worship people right and we worship the supreme power of god every sunday my dad would take me to an arya samaj ka havan wow i mean by the brahman i am log to so kind of comes with it my dad is very not ha my dad is very spiritual hmm. he believes in having certain roles that define your life roz sube har sunday ko in fact because matlab khud to puja karte hain wo every morning he does it hmm roz sube uth ke wo mantra padhte hain शंख बजाते हैं संडे को मुझे आई फाउंड इट वेरी इरिटेटिंग थ्रू आउट दी एटीन ईयर्स ऑफ माई आई हैड टू डू इट आई लुक बैक इट हैज काइंड ऑफ डिफाइंड द वे दैट आई थिंक इट हैज काइंड ऑफ मोल्डेड द वे दैट आई थिंक यू आई रिमेंबर हमारा जब जो प्लेस आई वॉज वर्किंग फॉर उन्होंने ऑफिस लिया था तो भूमि पूजा होती है वहाँ मैं मतलब हम बीस लोग बैठे थे पंडित जी बैठे थे और मैं बैठा था मतलब इंक्लूडिंग एवरीवन पंडित जी हम मंत्र पढ़े जा रहे थे लाइक टेन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स लेट राइट पंडित जी आके बैठे पंडित जी मंत्र पढ़ रहे थे hmm. उनके ऑपोजिट में बैठा था और वहां मैं उनके साथ मंत्र बोल रहा था एंड एवरी वन एल्स वॉज लुकिंग एट पंडित जी लुकिंग एट मी लुकिंग पंडित जी लुकिंग एट मी एंड अल्टीमेटली ये हुआ कि पंडित जी मेरे को अपने साइड में आके बैठा लेकर तुम्हें बैठ जा एंड दैट इज वेर आई थिंक हैविंग काइंड ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी और समथिंग टू बिलीव इन एक्चुअली गिव्स यू काइंड ऑफ एन एच अब एवरी But because what does it give an edge above everyone? I mean, it gives you a better level of critical, analytical thinking. You have one more angle to yeah. look at things from. Okay, I get that. Yeah. All the people who are say they don't believe in God, hmm. but जब भी कुछ बुरा होता है तो भगवान जी. Yeah. That happens. I've seen that happen. Yeah. Ah, but th- that was a very fascinating aspect for me. But यहाँ पे एक छोटा सा दिया लाके जला लगा लो. Actually, candles aren't allowed here. कैंडल्स नहीं लाइट वाला दिया ओ oh, एलईडी वाले हां हां आई कैन गेट दैट अभी तो लाइक इट विल एक्सपैंड थर्ड टाइम आई हैव टू लाइक गेट इट वन ऑफ दोस कॉर्नर्स या गॉड एक्चुअली वहां पे बुक्स अभी रख दी एंड देन ऑल दीस लाइक स्टोरेज थिंग्स और उसके अंदर एक अल्कोहल की बोतल है तो मेरे को वहां भगवान नहीं रखने हां भगवान जी नहीं रखने चाहिए या व्हाट वुड यू लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट व्हाट डिड यू थिंक व्हाट डू यू थिंक इज समथिंग दैट वी शुड टच अपॉन I actually, hmm. I barely know myself. 
Mm. Like if there's anything that like I need to know about myself, I'll probably call my mom. Mm. To be like, mom, what's this? Like, I, I am that person, so I tell everyone this. Every person I've met, I tell them like I have a memory of a goldfish, and I will forget everything within fifteen minutes. Mm. Like at this point, ask me what I had for dinner yesterday. I can't remember. Like right now, <laughs> I can't tell you what I had for dinner or lunch yesterday. Um, but like in ten minutes, I'll probably remember <laughs> it. Um, but yeah, so. Stuff about myself, I forget. Literally, so. Yeah, but that's fine. So that is something that you have to grow into. But I like this mm-hmm. idea that I don't know anything about myself. I don't know. I mean, you've been myself. alive for eighteen years. Yes, I don't know anything about myself. What do you like? What kind of movies do you like? What kind of songs do you like? That is very. That's the most basic personality defining question that anyone can ask. Do you See, read? Do you read a lot? I read a lot. Yeah. Who's your favorite author? Oh. I like Jennifer Niven a lot. Mm. She's very like inspiring. Mm. She's written like a few books on mental health, mm. and I think that's like the way she's portrayed it is very nice. There's this book called All the Right Places that mm. I really like of hers, and I also love The Secret. Rhonda Ooh, Rooney, so good. I think. There was a point in my like life where I was like, I don't believe that this there is a secret. Uh. Like you know. I don't think this is how the world works, but I generally feel like if I keep saying that thing that this will happen, this will happen at one point in your life, it will happen. happen. That is that is true. Yeah. That is something that I have experienced. Mm-hmm. But then it also aligns with the fact that you have to be persistent in your life. Mein. Yeah, I believe in this very strongly. Mm-hmm. In the moment you give up, yeah, is the moment you've lost. If you don't give up, then how have you lost? Yeah, so that is something that I believe in. My mom always used to tell this to me that भगवान उसी की मदद करते हैं जो अपनी मदद करते हैं हाँ फिर मेरे then my dad kind of मतलब पापा भी यही बोलते हैं yeah यानी आज जब वेरी fun line की कि भगवान सबका भला करे शुरू मुझसे करे oh that's a fun way of saying yeah. it हाँ हाँ what kind of movies do you watch what kind of songs do you like movies I feel like I'm all over the place mm. like I enjoy a good rom com mm. as well like where I have to think about nothing I can just watch it and mm. like It's literally like stress buster, mm. but then I also like very like intense movies as well, mm. where you have to like think a lot, mystery, psychological thrillers, all these kind of stuff. Like they are so good. Mm-hmm. Um, like I watched Gone Girl. Oh, Gone Girl is a fantastic it's movie. Beautiful. Gone Girl is a fantastic movie. It's genuinely, I think, one of my most favorite movies right now. That um, I in the Sky is on Netflix. You mm. must watch. Um, it's about how this U.S. Army stops a terrorist attack. Mm. Very cool, um, and then I watched Section Three Seventy Five the other day. Oh, that's a yeah, that literally the entire time I was just like, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Mm. Is she wrong? Is he wrong? Is she wrong? Is he wrong? Like it's a good movie. I've heard yeah. of it. I've not watched it yet. What kind of songs do you like? I learned yesterday you like Eminem a lot. Sorry, I learned yesterday. I didn't say I liked Eminem. You were very happy when Eminem was talking about it. No, that was Amar Tay. It wasn't me. Web, okay. No, Arushi. Ar, it was Arushi who was very happy. Really? हाँ और उसी को देखो अमर तेरा और उसी गाना गा रहे थे एंड देन यू जॉइन्ड इन तो दैट्स हाउ आई रिमेम्बर इट हाँ व्हाट काइंड ऑफ म्यूजिक डू यू लाइक आई एम मोर ऑफ लाइक सॉफ्ट म्यूजिक काइंड ऑफ पर्सन लाइक इंडी एंड लाइक सॉफ्ट रॉक प्रॉमिस यू इट विल चेंज इन टू इयर्स रियली जब मैं आया था जब मैंने नए नए गाने सुनने शुरू करे थे मेरे को बहुत पसंद थे अच्छे अच्छे प्यारे गाने मेरे को बहुत पसंद थे हिप हॉप मेरे को बहुत पसंद था टीचर्स आई ओनली लिसन टू एम एन एम बिकॉज दैट इज दी पर्सन आई ग्रो अप लिसनिंग टू बट आई मूव ऑन फ्रॉम लाउड म्यूजिक आई कॉन्ट आई I'm shocked, but I can't enjoy EDM anymore. Oh. No, but like I wasn't ever into like loud music. Mm. I think like right now my favorite artist is Dodi Clark, mm. and she writes like very like mellow and nice and mm. like you know very inspiring music that you mm. want like you want to listen to it just for the lyrics. Mm. That's very like I love I literally love her. She's okay. super nice. Okay. We have one last segment to talk about, yes. which I think very is very important to all the. Young people that will be probably watching this. Ooh, okay. What are your views on? Uh, Let's not go to politics. <laughs> not politics. Okay, I literally politics. was like, "What's your view on NRC and CA?" I was like, "Nope." NRC and CA, नहीं करने वाला मैं. Though I want to get into this थोड़ा later कि I mean there is this aspect of being privileged enough that you can not care about politics. It's a very interesting aspect, जो kind of बहुत popular, बहुत obvious है, but people don't seem to ex- uh, accept it. Yeah. But no, that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about relationships. Oh, okay. I mean, spicy course, topic. I mean, I mean, 
इफ वेन आई पुट इन दी टाइटल चैटिंग विद एन एटीन ईयर ओल्ड गर्ल फ्रॉम दुबई लिविंग इन लंडन मतलब ऐसा कुछ मैं डालूंगा तो दिस इज अ टॉपिक दैट पीपल विल एक्सपेक्ट बट आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक इन इट अबाउट इट इन अ वेरी एस्पिरेशनल काइंड ऑफ वे ओके एज एन फ्रॉम वॉट आई कैन थिंक ऑफ योर एक्सपीरियंसिस अराउंड रिलेशनशिप्स हैज इधर बीन योर पेरेंट्स और पेरेंट्स ऑफ योर फ्रेंड्स Okay. Or from the relationship that your friends have had in school, or you might have had in school. Okay. I want to talk about that. How it has changed, evolved, right. and what do you expect out of it? Okay. Wait. Are you talking about like romantic relationships? Or are you talking about relationships in general? No, romantic relationship first, romantic. then relationship in general. Because relationship in general is a very wide topic. Okay. But I want to focus on the one thing that college is known for. College abroad is known for this. Okay. Wait. So you romantic relationships? I feel like I can't really say much on it. Huh? I've had one relationship, and that was more like my good friend, <laughs> nothing more. So um, not much to say on so it. So not but, not what you have had, not okay. what you oh, uh, want to okay. have. Okay. But, but more like what do I what expect, do you expect from a relationship? Yeah. See, to be honest, I I don't expect a lot from other people. Mm. Like because you know with expectations. You disappointments like that's a very along. sad way to think about it. By the way, <laughs> uh, you've had one relationship. You can't be sad about it. No, I'm not talking about like relationships. I'm talking mm. about like all relationships. Mm. Like even if I expect something from my mom or mm. I expect something from a friend, mm. um, you know, if they don't do that, if they don't like somehow like get to that expectations, um. That you just are disappointed. Like, take for example, you have certain expectations for your birthday. You're like, oh my god, my friends have to oh, no, wish no. me at twelve o'clock at I, night. I've not and... thought about these things in so long. Ah, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> um, yeah, like they, you want them to wish you at twelve o'clock, and they want, like, you want that you get a good cake, you go out for a nice mm. meal, something like that. And if things don't go the way you wanted, you're disappointed, mm. right? So at this point, I don't really care about my birthday. Like I am, I'm the same. I I don't give a shit if it's my birthday. Yeah, like if it's my birthday, I'm like I used to be super excited for my birthday, but for the past two three years, I'm like I don't care. Like get me a cake, I'm okay. Don't get me a cake, I'm completely fine as well. And this happened with me as well. I think I was in class eighth or ninth. Hmm. At that point, you go to school, you have a good birthday, you celebrate sweets and all. Yeah. But then I invited a bunch of kids to home. Yeah. For my birthday party. Oh, no, no one showed up. Oh no. That's in class ninth, I think. See, that's a nightmare. That's awful. But then the reason for that is also, I mean, quite evident. No, the people, some people did not want to show up. Then I lived in quite the literal end of the city, so some people might not have been able to show up in the middle of the week. That is how I console myself at this point. But see, these experiences. Yeah. I mean, the way that you are talking about it right now. Yeah. I can see that there must have been things that have shaped your perception this way. Yeah, hundred mm-hmm. percent. So many times, um, like birthdays, a lot. Mm-hmm. But just in general, if I expect something out of a person and they don't give you that, I don't like. In my life now, I'm just like I don't want to do that well, that's anymore. That's a that's a wall that you have built up. Yes, in a way. Yes, I get what you're saying. But like, um, you know, it's like, why do you want that to be there? Mm. Like. You know why do you want to expect things from? No, I'll, I'll twist it into a positive thing. Go on. Okay. Oh no. Uh, don't do that. I don't want to listen to that. No, no. It will be a positive um, thing. You'll like it. But yeah, I don't really know why I think that way. But just I don't care. No. So I'll tell you the way you think. Yeah. इसकी सामने वाला जो भी कर रहा है उससे मुझे फर्क नहीं पड़ना चाहिए या फिर I don't expect anything out of anyone. Yeah. The other way to think of it is that you're self-dependent or independent enough that the other person doing good for you or bad for you. Should not impact you, and this is a new thought that I've had in my head yeah. ever since I've started hearing all these conversations about mental health. Right. I mean, it's a very hot topic these days. I think it's a very important topic to talk about. Hmm. But uh, this wall that you've kind of built, hmm. I think metaphorically, this should not be a stone wall. It should be a glass wall. Yeah. Okay. Why are you sounding like a therapist? Psychology, but yeah, exam. I have. No, but that's that's generally the way I talk. Yeah. I'll tell you how you can twist it into a positive thing. Hmm. Don't think of it as a wall. Yeah. Think of it as a glass house. And of course, the way you reciprocate to the people that are there in your life or people you engage with, hmm. 
it's okay to all do all these things it's okay to expect it's okay to not expect yeah but then uh, don't let that wall be a stone wall so that you don't even want to see what's outside yeah. it has to be a glass wall <laughs> make it into a glass wall yeah so that there is that option that you can open that door or climb over it because you know what's happening around you hmm. and then you're open to new experiences because the viewpoint that you have had is very depressing <laughs> it is very depressing that i don't expect <laughs> things i don't i don't care about things you should um yeah as much as one person says that you know like i don't care mm. you do care it's human course, nature exactly. so. see see that is what i wanted to bring you to that even though you say or even though anyone can say that yeah. i don't care it doesn't impact me somewhere somehow some way of course and of course it does yeah and the fact that you are now accepting that it will affect you things will impact mm. you relationships will change the yeah. people you meet will have an impact on you see because when we started talking yeah. you talked about i want to meet new people yeah i want to talk to new people yeah. i want to build this new persona of myself that yeah. makes satisfies me satisfies the people that i'm meeting yeah. and then uske bilkul opposite spectrum pe what people do doesn't affect, affect me. me so these things yeah. don't they don't meet they don't meet but that's how i think <laughs> that's how, that's how you think now yeah. yeah that is why it's important to document this and because when you look back on this uh, later yeah. you will realize that how your perception of life yeah. how your perception of things It has could go either way evolved it could go either way yeah but more matlab chances yahi hai ki it will stay it will not be either way yeah. it will mo- be kind of in the middle hmm. but then you'll have certain reasons ki why it's in the middle right. if you take one thing away from this podcast hmm. or of this chart that we have been having for yeah. an hour and a half and more now and counting more. all the breaks yeah is that to uh, you have a lot of things that a lot of in fact majority of the people in this world don't have true very privileged all these experiences that you have talked to me about yeah i can promise you 90% of the people that watch this have not had these experiences and when we turn this around and i'll show you this hmm. you like there's actually a very nice good chat you i hope you learned things about yourself lots, that you lots did not things know that i definitely before. didn't know but I, as i said i don't know myself so I, I hope you learned. take something away yeah. from this. I have taken yeah. a lot of things away from this. Hundred percent. I love your like little quotes and things that you said. Hmm. Padhaunga. I'll screen put all the other things. All the quotes. But yeah, when we're talking, we're going to animate. Okay, I'm going to put. Don't build a stone wall around yourself. Build a glass <laughs> build wall. Build a glass wall. But yeah, I hope the cameras are still recording. It's a nice chat with you, Ria. Thank Do you for uh, being the first test subject on my podcast. Test like, thank you for having me. It was a really nice chat. We'll do this again soon when this podcast becomes popular. अगले साल अगर मेरे को लंदन में रहने को मिला तो फिर से करेंगे ये. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming here. अभी हमें एक फोटो खिंचवानी है जो हमारी थंबनेल में बनेगी. Oh God. But yeah, that was the podcast. We have recorded for an hour and a half. अब बंद करते हैं. बहुत मजा आया. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I was nervous before, but like I really liked this.